groaning for a high tackle on Bird. Referees knock it back. Farrah to the middle of the ground, linking up and giving it to Hopkinson. To way to Jennings. Oh, Jennings! He passed. It might have been knocked on by Queensland. Yeah, here. knocked down by Hodges. It's play on, advantage being played. So the, the uh, tackle count has been nullified. And Gallon! Gallon runs down the ground into a shoulder waiting for him from Ben Teo at the 10 metre line. Woods, New South Wales with a feast of opportunity here. Woods about five metres out from the line. Farrah, dummies, double pumps, Hodkinson, Hodkinson is over. Hodkinson comes around, he puts the ball down. The Canterbury halfback, Trent Hodkinson. He scores and he will take the conversion put the Blues in front by two. Uh, that might have been in his mind when he got through that he had a kick coming up. That may well win the series for New South Wales with just nine minutes left to go. Crowd finally get to cheer a try in this game and it just came through weight of possession, weight of numbers, a decent play the ball. And down the left-hand side, Trent Hodkinson, that's one go through, throws the dummy, man on the inside just didn't have the speed to match it with him and it's Ben Teo who just couldn't get to Trent Hodkinson in time as Daly Shea Evans stayed with his man on the Harvey Norman replay. How many repeats did they have? Well but finally they got the ball in the hands of some playmakers and some bodies in motion and moving. They've played tough but they've played dumb. All of a sudden a good play of the ball, a little bit of movement, the ball wide and the playmaker had something to play with. He had the defence going sideways and retreating. He had Jennings and Tupo to his left that were herring after the ball. And he just took over. Natural Instincts took over, dumbing and score. And, it, you know, it's taken 70 minutes to get the balls in the hands of their playmakers at the crucial end of the field. Well, this doesn't look like a difficult kick by a man who kicks at 82%, but, boy... Can you imagine what's going through his mind? What, what is possibly at stake here? Well, this is why you practice. This is why you, you spend all those hours in the park. This is what you grow up as a kid. When you're out there on your own kicking footballs and someone's catching them for you. This is the one you live for. War Maroon for the Queensland residents in 2009. Here's the kick. It's online. The scoreboard changes. And a boy. It is 6-4. The Blues. Andrew John. punishment. It's up to the outside backs now of New South Wales to win it. Dummy half running and get an early kick away. None of the forwards have them here to hit up in this next seven minutes. Just run from dummy half and kick early. Defend yourself to victory. So the kick off is very, oh. very big and Aaron Woods lets it go. So it's gone out on the fall. It's a penalty to the Blues at the middle of the halfway. Well, someone must have yelled at him because he was going to catch it. Right the, Morris, the Morris brothers went up and then went down. Oh, that's touched him. Whoa. This might be reversed. Yeah, look at this. He was going to catch it, and someone said let it go, and it's hit him on the jersey. That's not the angle. And New South Wales looking to get play underway as quickly as possible, which Hodkinson does. Wow. A little bit more controversy. So the Blues... The foot there. Come up with the football. And Gallon held just outside the 20 metre line. 6 4 in favour of New South Wales. Lewis. Now Woods. Around 10 metres out from the line. There's six minutes to go. Hopkinson, Hopkinson the hero. Now Gallon, taken down by Cherry Evans. 10 metres away from the line. Jennings to Bird. Last tackle now for the Blues. Some decoys, a 
kick from Hayne was on the ground. He's got the ball, Hayne. That is a changeover to Queensland. From the distance, I thought Cherry Evans had touched that kick that went through from Jared Hayne. But he's in the rock. There was no knock on there. No, because I'm not ready. Wait, hey, wait, Billy. No, we can't play, mate. Jared Haynes down with Prince. He's got to get up and get back into position. Well, we're not going to see a kick downtown, even though he's out of position. But the Queenslanders have got to keep their eyes open. Try and get to the middle of the field on every opportunity to offer an option on both sides. McQueen. 15 away from the Queensland line. Friday, strong, running with Woods and Farrow. Smith, Jerry Evans, out in front of uh, Tia. Oh, knocked on by Hodges. Little wonder it was knocked on. It was an awful pass. Well, under the crowd five, roars their approval. Under five minutes to go. The Blues have got to stay positive here. Don't get negative. Don't just eat up the tackles and have Queensland the only team looking for points. Stay in. A try here puts them away. A try here wins the series. It's all over. They get negative and invite Queensland in with another opportunity. I don't know how many times we've got a point to in history where the Maroons have come up with the miracle last minute try. This is agonising for the people on the sidelines and the true test of courage for those that are out there in the middle. Bird certainly had his hands on the ball a lot in the second stanza, particularly. And Lewis, it is now right in the middle of the ground on the 20 meter line. Farrell moves across the ground, picks up Gallon. Gallon goes on to Hoffman. Hoffman aiming himself again at Terry Evans. And that's where they are, 15 out. Gallon. Woods assembling his troops out on the right. Big front row forward as Gallon continues his one-man struggle to gain further meterage. Under four to go, and here's Farrow. Five gone now. Tio the tackle. Hoffman decides to have a go. And that's changeover again for well, Queensland. Yeah, it's a really negative set of six. Gus, I was about to say, New South Wales' priority in that ruck, ruck was surely not scoring a try. It was denying possession for Queensland. Put the ball in behind the line or even come up with a scrum, but make it as tough as possible for Queensland, who will enjoy this next set. Inside three. Under three. At the 20-metre line, play by Miles. Friday, Guerra. Whilst they weren't great sets from New South Wales, on both occasions they handed the football to Queensland half a metre out from their own line. Thurston rifles the ball across to Inglis. Inglis gets the ball around the corner. Picked up, though, by Reynolds. Reynolds breaking the tackle. And Hayne shouting at him. Play the ball. Thurston goes in. The suspect tackle eventually on Reynolds. Well, stand up, New South Wales fans. Stand up in your lounge rooms. Stand up in the clubs and clubs across Australia. Walk away! And ride them home here for the last two minutes. Walk away. Matt, hey, Josh. It's Josh. Take him back. Matt, oh, Matt just take him back for me. Two minutes to go. The Blues find themselves in front. There's been plenty of this all night. And it's erupting on the field again now. We're back to live pitches and they're all back in there again. They've looked up at the big screen and seen the niggle. Now they all want to get back in there and get a part of it. See number six is there arguing away, but the biggest smile will be on the face of Josh Reynolds. Well, the Blues are in front on the clock, so they don't care how long this goes on. Here they go. Robbie, Robbie, walk that way. He's walking a fine line, JT, at the moment. Justin. 
Philly. To Thaday and Gallon. It's a very fine line. Crowd. Justin. Justin. He comes in pushing over here. Rising. Walk that way. Ben, walk that Justin. Justin. Walk that way. We were always going to get to this. Walk that way. Walk that way. Okay. Yep. Okay. We will restore normal transmission in a moment. Listen, when you when you and Jonathan came together, heads came together. We don't know whether it was a headbutt head, or a head, 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 head. We're not sure, it. but that's on report. That incident's on hey. report. Yes, with your headbutt. Mr. Penley, okay. Mr. Penley goes two for four. I'm on the ground. Okay. Hear me out, okay. Then you two come together. Use your heads together, okay. Everything's on report, okay. Penley, here, New South Wales. Time back on. So the Blues get the penalty. Josh Reynolds is on report. So is Jonathan Thurston. Yeah, well, the first penalty is for the forearm from Thurston on Reynolds' head. What happens after that doesn't matter. They can work it out later. Bottom line. Minute 45, minute 46, minute 45, minute 44. I went up and down there, rabbits. I didn't want to say anything, Gus. Stand up, New South Wales fans. You've got a minute and a half now to win an eight-year drought. Gallon, just outside the 20-metre line. Is he about to experience what he did in 2004, 10 years later? Bird. Hopkinson for Hoffman. The coach and his assistant are standing. But they can last the last 50 seconds of this one. Well, this is the big play here, where they give it back to them. The bench is up. Five tackles gone. There's Reynolds to Lewis, and Lewis spins out, gets it back to Reynolds. It's come oh. down. Billy Slater looked like he was interfered with. It's a penalty to Queensland. Slater was pulled back. Now everyone stand up. New South Wales stand up. Queensland stand up. <laughs> Pull off a try in 10 seconds. One play to keep your series and winning streak alive. The Blues have got to make one tackle. Smith then across they go. Out they come to Cherry Evans. Now it's out to Slater. Slater in and away on Jennings. Gets the ball back to McQueen. They kick. They get it into the middle of the ground. But Hayne is back there. Hayne juggles it. Hayne is running it down behind the dead ball line. The relief and 
and here he is, the coach, who knows what it's like to win a series, three in a row in fact in the middle 90s. And just the second blue, Laurie Daly, to win a series as a player, as a captain and a coach. Joining Wayne Pearce, congratulations. This man was good, often. It mightn't have had a lot of adventure and creation for a long, long part of the game. But he was consistently good. Kane and Dugan. Six for them, the only try of the game. Scored by Trent Hodkinson. What a series for him. To Suncorp on Dubu, the Morris brothers are there with Jared Hayne. Hodkinson went to uh, Suncorp on Dubu and became the second halfback ever for New South Wales to debut successfully. Steve Mortimer, be, Mortimer being the other. So Laurie jogs across to link up with his captain. Andrew, you've got Jared Hayne with you. Yeah, I've got a superstar, Jared Hayne. Tears of joy. What's that mean to you? Oh, it's been a long time. Oh, it's been a long time, man. You know, we fought hard. <laughs> Woo! Man. Yes, son. through that much these years and we've come so close so many times <sighs> we had to go to another level every game and you know we're there this is the this is a team now from one to seven eight we need to play well you know we've made so many errors tonight but we just deed up and deed up and deed up and mate that's what orange is about I, I, I can't explain it that's what orange is about we love you mate The noise out there for the boys must be deafening. Jared Hayne, his 19th origin appearance for eight victories. Brett Finch there with Josh Reynolds. Mate, run us through what you're feeling right now. Mate. Never, ever, ever have I ever felt like this, mate. So much joy. Let's come back and win it in front of this massive crowd. One more thing you want, mate. Mate, run us through the whole build-up. How much pressure was on during the week? How did your boys train? How did you handle it all? Mate, there was plenty of build-up, but I mean, the best thing about the war is that we stuck to what we knew. We dug deep. We knew it was going to come down the last 10 minutes, and it did, mate. And we've done it for each other. Congratulations, mate. Go and enjoy it. Thank you. Yeah, here with Kevin Smith. Um, unfortunately, this day had to come at some point. Um, it happened tonight. Uh, but you still must be proud of the effort the boys put in. Oh, mate, I, Lockie, I couldn't be more proud of you know, the effort that the boys showed, not only tonight, but you know, in the first game and you know, over the last you know, eight years, mate, it's been, a, uh, you know, it's been a remarkable thing what we've been able to achieve, mate, but unfortunately it's ended tonight. Um, we come up against a, a very, very good football side in the first two matches, and um, although it looked like we were probably on top for most of that match, you know, that's what Origin's about, you know, one moment where... You know, the Blues got the ball and they were down our end and they got four points, mate, and it sort of finished us off. Well done on the effort, mate. Uh, well done on the, the last eight years. Uh, but, yeah, mate, uh, commiserations. Uh, thanks for your time. Duh, thanks, Lockie. Cheers. I'm with mean, Laurie Daly. Laurie, can you try to explain the feeling you've got going through your body at the moment? Mate, I can't, Joey. My heart is racing. The crowd got behind us. That got us home, mate. We, uh, we were uh, on the back foot all night, but... The courage that our boys have displayed in the first two games has been enormous, and we're under the pump again, but we've got so much belief. Oh, I, you know, I thought I was proud in game one, but I'm, I'm prouder in game two. Can you compare him as a player and a coach, the difference? No, you can't, mate. It's, um, it's one of those ones, mate, where you, where you sort of... Um, yeah, you can't compare him. It was good, mate. It was really good, so... Thanks, Joe. Right. Interesting conversation there. 
um, as an aside with Josh Reynolds and Jonathan Thurston. Yeah, nice touch. It, it was a nice touch. Yeah. Uh, to the New South Wales government, well done. They had said they would light up the bridge, they would light up the harbour, they would light up the opera house if New South Wales were able to break the eight-year drought. They have done that. Well done to the New South Wales government for doing that tonight. So it's uh, the series of New South Wales. That doesn't mean that uh, this match in Brisbane is not going to be a corker in three weeks' time. We'll take a break. We'll talk further with the players from both sides. The winning coach, plus the Australian Union's hardest working player, and of course the Tui's new match highlights. All of that's back in just a moment.